We'll start with 1993. That's when the NFL awarded Charlotte the Panthers franchise. And then in 1995, the team played its first season with home games at Clemson before moving into what is now Bank of America Stadium. The team went to two Super Bowls following the 2003 and 2015 seasons, but in 2017, Sports Illustrated published a bombshell article uncovering payouts to employees who accused Richardson of sexual misconduct and a racial slur directed at the team scout. That very night, Richardson announced he would sell the team. Richardson leaves behind a complicated legacy, and many former players remember the way that he shaped her, their lives. Earlier, sports director Nick Carboni sat down with Charlotte Today's Eugene Robinson, who finished his NFL career with the Panthers in 2000. He takes a moment to look back at Richardson's impact. You came here in 2000, you're a seasoned vet, and you know you have an owner that used to play and as you said he was always on that golf oh, cart at practice what yes. was it like when you knew he was the owner and now you're out there at practice and he's watching you know what I, you never got the sense that he was overstepping his bounds he i think as a player he just kind of knew that you let players do their thing eugene we have to talk about it in 2017 a sports illustrated bombshell drops in december right before a game against the packers where you know there were allegations of workplace sexual harassment a pattern of such by the team's owner jerry richardson and he went on to announce the sale of the team that very night so an abrupt uh, and controversial ending i've heard from former players about that before and, and you're obviously a former player. Did that make it hard to grapple with who he was in your mind? It, it, anytime you have any major event, and here let, let you know, I would not throw stones because I already had major events that happened in my life, uh, and it's well yeah. uh, well documented. It's so easy, kind of like to to kind of throw that stone, and sometimes it does. It would always leave a, a different mark. It, it would just will. It just it's just that's just the nature of the beast. But when I peel back the layers, and if I, I'm allowed to peel back the layers. Mm -hmm. Is the event that happened, does that really define, let's say, Gene Robinson? Does that really define me? Could it define me? Does it, does it exclude all the other stuff that I was able to go ahead and do? Now, when I talk about Mr. Richardson, does that really define him? Because we talk about that, you know, and I know that issue. I'll leave it, all the people who want to punish want to talk about that. I'll let you talk about that. But when I think of him, I think of a guy who was absolutely relational, who gave a guy who shouldn't have a second chance, a second chance. And former Panthers tight end Greg Olson also took the time to talk about Richardson. My thoughts and appreciation of, of Mr. Richardson and Mrs. Richardson and the entire family I don't think is unique to me and my family. I think it's a very common love that so many of the players that had the fortune of playing for the Panthers, um, getting to know him, getting to appreciate how much he truly cared about us. And the news has certainly taken over parts of social media today. The NFL, along with current Panthers owners talking about it, Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles weighing in, and many more, really just highlighting the impact that Richardson had on our community.